Hello, my name is Mary and this is Mary's Rack and you are watching my closet declutter video. But before we get to that, I wanna do an intro to my intro and tell you I have some very exciting news. I have been working on a Finding Your Style workbook for the past several months and it has finally dropped today, July 23rd. So if you're seeing this, I have a discount code for you. It's all caps, Leo season. You go to marysrack.com and you can download my style workbook right now. It's an incredible handbook. It's a look into my brain. You meet some of my clients. In there are practical tips from my years of styling folks. All of my thrifting tips, I'm a lifelong thrifter. They're all jam packed into here. Ever want to learn how to do your measurements? I teach you that in my style workbook. So please consider downloading it you will absolutely get your money's worth, especially if you use that $5 off today. So thanks for watching y'all and let's get into the video. Hello, I'm Mary and this is Mary's Rack. I'm a secondhand stylist. That just means I style people in all secondhand clothes. But sometimes on my channel, I also do a closet clean outs and I am in the process of moving my apartment and also my shop, which has a ton of clothes. So this is the ultimate closet clean out. Ultimate closet clean out. <laughs> Basically, I just don't want to bring a bunch of clothes to my new house that I need to clean out. So it's time to declutter. My last closet clean out video, you should go watch it first if you want. It was emotional. I'm a bit of an emotional hoarder, especially with my clothes. I've always had a real love of clothes, so I just really hold on to my clothes. I like am very nostalgic about each and every piece. So cleaning out my closet's a bit hard. The last video I got a little emotional. Today I feel like today I feel like I'm like ironclad, like maybe because I've had so much caffeine because I got a kitten and it keeps me awake all night, so I'm like a little hype right now. But I really do feel like mentally prepared for this clean out and like I have to get rid of stuff because I just I don't need to take all this stuff to my next house, especially if I haven't worn it in a long time or I have no plans of wearing it or if it doesn't fit. So those are my criteria. So I have four criteria on if I should keep an item and each item has to match at least two of the criteria in order for me to keep it. Number one, does it fit? Very obvious. Number two, is it my style? Also, less that's less obvious. Number three, is it nostalgic? And number four, do I have a plan for it? Is it nostalgic and do I have a plan for it? Is it nostalgic? Can I just not let it go because I have too many memories attached to it? If you watched my first closet clean out, I did cry trying to declutter a dress that I've tried to declutter like 80,000 times. We're not gonna do that today. We're not gonna do that today. We're gonna stay strong. We're gonna stay strong. And the, do I have a plan for it? Uh, does it need to be repaired? Does it need to be upcycled? Does it need to go to my niece? Does it need to go to a friend, those are do I have a plan for it items, so they're not just gonna get immediately decluttered, they're just gonna be held on to until I can do the plan part for it. So each of these items must match at least two of those criteria for me to keep them. Okay, I'm losing the glasses because the light is whatever. If you're a returning viewer, just please go ahead and like this video right now. I am filming this closet clean out in the middle of moving a business, my house. I just got a kitten that keeps me up all night. My other business has a huge event this week, so I have a million things to do for that. A lot going on right now. So filming this video, it's emotionally taxing, but I'm doing it for you. For you! And because it just has to be done. I have to get rid of some stuff. Now here's the thing. Since the last video, you might recognize if you saw the last video, I had a different setup in here. So I have changed my clothing setup since then. I'm always changing my clothing setup. So there's gonna be some items on here that I've already had in the other videos. So I'm just gonna skip over those items because a lot of those things I already know I'm keeping unless I decide to get rid of them and then I'll show it to you and be like, oh, I changed my mind since the last video. I'm talking so fast because I had so much caffeine. Okay, starting off strong, this is a leopard print halter top I recently wore in a video. It's one of my favorite, like, sexy tops. I like, it's like a going out look for me. It's very, like, rockabilly kind of vibe. I will be keeping you. This is a wrap top that I have had forever. I have worn it to absolute smithereens. It hasn't fit my boobs in, like, forever, but I just hold on to it because when it did fit my boobs, it looked incredible. But that's no reason to keep it, so I'm going to get rid of it. It's going. It's going. This is a top that I can't get rid of because... I just recently got my wife the matching shirt, so we're going to match. So I have the tie top. She has the button down. It's going to be so cute. We love to match. We are one of those couples. Okay, next up we have these like tie-dyed cargo pants. These fit me. These are my style. I wear them pretty often. I will say they're borderline not fitting me, but they, they fit me right now. So I'm just going to keep them and maybe get a couple more wears out of them. And if I feel like they don't fit at all anymore. I will declutter them, I promise. These are Lululemon flared leggings. My wife is a Lululemon ambassador, so sometimes I get hooked up to, listen, I know Lululemon is expensive and I don't buy anything new really, but it is a good brand if you need athletic wear. Their stuff is nice. They do a lot of R&D, so I, I stand by Lululemon. This is a mesh 
shirt that I sometimes use for costume purposes here in New Orleans, but I think I'm going to keep it because do I wear it a lot? No, but does it fit? Yes. Is it my style? Yes. So I'm keeping it. It fits two of my criteria and I'm just convinced that I'll have a lot of purposes to wear it because it's New Orleans and like there's always a reason to wear weird costume pieces like mesh tops. I've had this since high school. This is one of my early thrifted items. It is, this is wool and rabbit and it is the most gorgeous little cardigan you've ever little ever seen. I've held on to this literally since high school, one of my very original thrifted finds. I am, does it fit? No. Is it my style? No. Do I have a plan for it? Yes. I think I need to hold on to this because in my eyes, it's a legacy piece. It's just so nice. It's been on the planet for so long already. I mean, look at this tag. It says, hand beaded expressively for hails in the British Crown Colony, Hong Kong. Back to when it was colonized. Okay, I don't know if this counts or not, but this, this is a Mardi Gras costume. I was a gator one year and I like hand painted this. My friend Thora helped me. She came in and she did like this, the better looking details. Um, but yeah, I, I upcycled this costume. If you're um, coming to Mardi Gras, DIY costumes is the way to go. I think I need to hold on to it because it has some more wear in it. But you can see I just used like extra fabric from t-shirts and stuff that I had. Fabric laying around. It had this little thing that draped. I don't know. I was like a swamp gator i made a really cool headpiece that had a baby a beanie baby on it okay so far not going well decluttered one item okay now we're getting into it i love this polka dot bustier top but i don't think it's my style anymore it's trashy diva the brand that i used to be obsessed with i have gotten a lot of wear out of it i don't even know if it fits me anymore i haven't worn it in so long so it's gotta go this one is also trashy diva i also love it but this is a hard one. It definitely does not fit me anymore. It's this adorable cherry tie top. Kristen got me this. This was like the first gift Kristen ever got me in our relationship. So like, how am I supposed to get rid of this? Dang, it just got so hard so fast. I did not see this coming. Is it my style? Yes. Does it fit me? Probably not. Um, do I have a plan for it? My God, I'm, I'm already like crapping out y'all. I have to keep it. I have to. And this is a cute little trashy diva plain red dress. This does not fit me anymore, I know for a fact. And it's actually not really my style. It's not spectacular enough. I like more ornate rockabilly, like this like vintage reproduction. And I like the stuff that's a little bit more in your face when it comes to print. Um, I love this cut and it does look really good on me, but this specific one does not fit me anymore. Um, so I love you. You served me well. Oh my God, I'll never forget when I got this. I used to do these um, unboxings on Instagram before I started YouTube that I would go live and I would unbox like vintage mystery boxes. And I'm gonna find the name of the shop that, that gave me this box that this was in, but she sent this to me in the first box she ever sent me and it is the most incredible piece and I have loved and appreciated it so much. It is my style. I'm actually not sure if it fits me, but I think it does. Um, I mean, look at this embroidered collar. When I pulled this out on the live, I almost cried because I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world. It's double breasted. And I have this look that I'll insert here where I wear it over this really cool dress that's somewhere on this rack. And yeah, I love this piece. It's so unique. I have never seen anything like this at the thrift. Like a contrast embroidered collar, double breasted. Like this piece is so unique. I, I'm, I'm never going to get rid of this, I think. I think I will keep this the rest of my life. Uh, this one kills me. So this is a Pendleton skirt. Okay, this is a dead stock classic Pendleton pleated skirt. This thing has never fit me. Since I got it, it didn't, it didn't fit me when I got it, and it hasn't fit me since. And I love it so much, but I've literally never worn it because it never fit me. It definitely doesn't fit right now either. I can just tell. So I think it's got to go. But look at this. I had a dead stock Pendleton skirt this whole time that I've never got to wear. It's a bummer. Goodbye. I love this piece, but I don't wear it enough. Do you like my Coke holder top? Obviously, I thrifted this ridiculous Coke holder top. Okay, so this is like a, like, you know, roby kind of vibe, and it's got these, like, handbags all over it. I like the print. It's, like, maximalist, you know? It's cute, but is it my style? So, as you can see, it's like... It's cool, it's a cool length. I never wear it because it's polyester. 
but now that I have it on, I'm like, I should wear it. It's got such a cool little drapey situation. The issue with this is that I don't know how to wear it yet. Like, I don't know what to wear underneath it. So maybe I need to figure it out. But it does fit me, and I think it is still my style. Like, it's fun. It's it's a fun little layer. But I haven't worn it. I've worn it maybe twice since I've had it, and I've had it for a long time. I think this is one that, like, I'm going to keep, and if I don't wear it in, like, the next month, I have to get rid of it. So I need to find a way to wear this ASAP. It's like a test. Like, Mary, find a way to wear this or get rid of it. This is like a sweater top. It's going. I bought this when I was going through a phase where I was like, I don't have any winter wear. I don't even know how to wear winter wear. I don't like this. It's not my style. It's just got to go. <laughs> I bought this for my best friend's golden birthday. She turned 30 on the 30th. This was like years ago. I don't think I've worn it since. I wore it that one time. So I, this is way overdue to get rid of. Good. I don't want to get rid of this. Honestly, I don't want to get rid of it. It's like one of the coolest things. It's definitely like, okay, this was in a video where I did the Halloween costumes. It was the Wood Witch look and I wore it in an improv show and it's this awesome like formal length. It definitely was like Baby Blunt's part of a two piece set. But the reality on this skirt is that it didn't fit me then. It definitely doesn't fit me now. Just because it's epic doesn't mean I should keep it. So it's going. This is a mesh zebra long shirt. Does it fit? Yes. Is it my style? Yes. I'm keeping this. I love this. Very graphic. I love graphic stuff. Do I wear it enough? No. I should wear it more. But also I have so much clothes that like I just need to be better about rotating stuff. <laughs> I wore this um, on my wedding day. It was part of my second look. I wore like a top hat look. Um, I think it needs to go in my costume closet. It's definitely not like a I'm going to wear this a million times. But it can go into my costume box. So keeping... My friend Virginia donated these to Mary's Rack, and they are vintage Lily Pulitzer pants. I think I've worn them one time because they don't totally fit me, but they are my style. They're very graphic. They're very fun. I think I want to get them altered, so that would be the plan for them. I have a plan for them. They don't fit. They are my style. They're not nostalgic, but if I have a plan for them and they're my style, I get to keep them, so I'm keeping them. Are you ready for this very vintage Lily Pulitzer tag that's like completely worn out you can kind of see it Lily I have two two of these Chico's traveler pants styles this one's got a button fly so I think this one's got to go I don't like the button fly on this one I think that's my decision and then I'll keep these that are just like a stretchy waistband but I love these I get these all the time at the thrift and when I put them on clients racks they buy them almost like 100% of the time because they try them on and they just are so comfortable because they're that really like slinky loose material and people love that material as they should. I love this skirt so much. It is my style. It does fit me. It's staying. I wore it recently. It's silk. I have a matching top with it that I recently got a hole in which broke my heart but this is Maggie London. It's silk. I love it. I just it reminds me a lot of Lisa Says Ga stuff but this is definitely not modern. This is at least 15 maybe even 20 years old. This skirt I've been holding on to for like costuming purposes. I don't really think it's my style. I just think it's my comfort zone because I love wearing fit and flare and I feel confident in fit and flare. I've held on to this for like emergency outfit situations, but I don't love it. Like it doesn't bring me joy. I just wear it as like a comfort piece, but also it's black and a good basic. So I'm kind of like, do I keep it? This is why I've not decluttered it. I have worn it a good bit and it definitely still fits me. I think it's one of those things like I should just keep it because it's practical and I will work it into outfits in the future just like I always have. This is a thing I struggle with and I wonder if other people who have more like bold maximalist kind of styles struggle with where like I struggle to keep basics because when I look at them on their own they do not spark joy. <laughs> like I'm just like oh okay like whatever but I need this like I need this for practical purposes. Wow okay wait hold on we're getting into my we're getting into my circle skirt era. Black circle skirt gray circle skirt. These skirts, these were my lifeblood. My absolute friggin' lifeblood for like five years. I loved when these were popular because as an hourglass girly, this skirt is everything. So I did have them in like every single color from like college on to like five or six years ago. These are kind of like too short for me now. <laughs> I feel like I can't wear skirts this short. And also they're just so out of style that like when I put them on, I feel a little bit like I'm trying to relive my youth, which, you know, whatever. I think it's time for them to go but they, I have gotten so much wear out of these two and they're both just fast fashion they're gonna go goodbye skirts
I've worn you so much. This is a skirt that I cut off to wear to our hell prom. We had we have a prom every year and it has a different theme. And <laughs> one year the theme was just hell. The, the prom themes are suggested by our clients. So whatever. Someone suggested it and then it was voted on and everyone picked it. So the theme was hell. I wore this with my hell outfit. Isn't it so cool? I love this skirt. It's still my style. I actually don't know if it fits me anymore, but it's really easy to cinch it because it's just like a little stretchy waistband. So I think I'm going to keep it. Okay. We finished one thing. That's impressive. Okay, I hung pants back up here. And since I kind of like have a pants theme going, I actually pulled down some pants from my armoire. First pair of pants. I love these pants. They are my style. Do they fit me? No, they're too big, but I can belt them. They have a belt loop and I will belt them. And I kind of like that they're too baggy, you know, like that's the aesthetic with these. They're very similar to these like green pants. Like I just kind of am going through like a cardo pant <laughs> camo, I guess, phase. So keeping these for sure. Kermit leggings. They gotta go in the Disney pile. Yes, they fit. Yes, they're my style, but I also have a plan for them. I wear them in Disney, Disney alone. So they need to get stored into my Disney pile. These are leopard print skinny jeans. Are they my style? Yes. Do they fit me? Yes. Am I gonna keep them? Yes. These are these like Madewell plaid pants, which are still my style. And I think they do fit me, but the issue with these is that I never put them on because they make me feel too much like a chef. <laughs> they feel like chef pants. I don't, I never put them on because they make me feel like, you know, ratatouille or something. I don't want to wear, I don't, I'm getting rid of them. Goodbye. All right, we got another pair of skinnies here. These are really nice Everlane black high rise skinnies. I feel like these, these have always been like so long on me and I'm literally never going to get them altered because I just won't get jeans altered personally. After I bought these, I started buying petites only, and like I'll never get these altered. Also, I think they might be too big on me now, unclear, but I think I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna get rid of them. They're really nice Everlane denim though, so someone's gonna find these and they're gonna be really excited. These are my tried and true skinnies, my last hold on of, of skinnies. These are petite, made well. I have worn these to death. I think that I'll just keep them until I completely wear through the crotch because I've had them for so long now, they do fit me really well. Are skinnies out? Yes, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop wearing. Here's another pair of skinnies. These are just an old navy pair that are really ripped up, but these don't fit me anymore, so they need to go. All right, these are my bendovers by Levi's. Like in the 60s, Levi's started this um, women's wear brand called Bendover, which I just think is so funny. And when I find them, the older ones with the, the stiff waistband like this and the buttons, some of them have elastic waistbands. Those aren't as great, but when you find them with the real waistbands and the button fly, these are awesome pants. I actually don't know if they still fit me, but I might have to try these back on because they don't have a belt loop, so if they don't fit in the waist, then I can't belt them, so I should really just get rid of them. But for now, they'll stay. I'm gonna try them back on. Another pair of Madewell skinnies. I love my Madewell skinnies. I love the wash on these. These definitely still fit me. I'm keeping that other pair though. Are they different enough? I think they're different enough. These are a solid wash. These are like more of a dress jean and these are more whiskered. They're also like, I have to cuff these. These fit me in the length. Am I just trying to keep both pair of jeans? Yes. They're staying, okay? Okay, but these are gonna go. These are really cool wide leg denim that I love. They remind me of Jinko's. They're gap, but they don't fit me anymore. They are still my style. I would love to find these in my size because they're cool. They're very cool and I like them. They don't fit me, so they need to go. These are really borderlining, not fitting me, but they have belt loops, so I think I'm gonna hold on to them. They're these like cute little Zara, like slack pants. And I like them because they're like, they're cropped, but on me they fit in the length, so <laughs> that's a hack for those petite girlies. You can always get a cropped cut and it might fit you like a regular length. So I'm gonna keep these. I'm also gonna keep these. They're similar, but these are more of just like a regular loungy pant. Um, and they have this little pleat in them. These are just who what wear. These are also borderline too big for me, but I don't have any replacements and these are like very summery pants. So I think I'll just keep them and belt them for now. These I love, I've worn these a ton. They're just stretchy like Target pants that I thrifted. I'm sure I'll find them in my size again one day. So I, I'm okay with saying goodbye to them, but I love these pants. I love a fun pant as a base of an outfit. You've probably seen me in a lot of outfits with these actual pants before. So goodbye pants. I've moved a bunch of tops in here that I need to go through. So 
let's get moving. These are just casual tops. And now a word from our sponsors. Today's sponsor is me, Mary's Rack. That's right, if you'd like to support this channel, you can go ahead and like this video right now, get it out of the way, drop a comment, let me know what you're enjoying, if you have any thoughts about the stuff I'm decluttering, if you think I should keep some of the things, if you think I should get rid of some of the things I'm keeping, I, listen, you can tell me, I can take it. Another way that you can support me is following me across all of my social media platforms. I'm Mary's Rack on all of them. And the biggest way you can support me is by investing in my style workbook. It is your handy handbook to finding your personal style and building a sustainable wardrobe. So if that sounds like something you could benefit from, I promise you, you will not regret this book. I am very proud of the work I've put in. So go download that on marysrack.com and enjoy the rest of the video. Oh my God, I'm dreading the tops. I love my tops like this. She stays. I sound like Kat in her closet cleanup video. She stays, look at her, look at that. I love her. I, this is a summer shirt and I need to start wearing her. This is just a little tank, she can go. I don't wear this thing, it's a free people tank. My mom thrifted this vintage Saints tee for the playoffs in 1987. I wear it during Saints season, it makes me look cool. Like I know something about football, I don't. This is a plain black tank that I have worn to death and it has two holes in it. And honestly, I don't even wanna donate it or sell it. It's just gonna get ragged out and I'm gonna turn it into like a cleaning rag. Obviously it's staying. I have two vintage Barks tees and they are my, uh, I've held onto this for so long. It needs to go though, I don't wear it. It's this awesome vintage Ralph Lauren yellow striped shirt and it's got the little pocket logo on it. I love this one so much. I just don't wear it and it needs to go. But I don't wanna get rid of it. Maybe I could wear it. Let's try it on. I just never consider it when I'm like getting dressed and it's just uh, the tiniest bit too small for me. It needs to go, it's going, it's going. Halloween, I love my Halloween stuff. It stays. This was a project piece, I thrifted it and I was slowly taking off all of these little grommet things. But as you can see, I never finished and it's got, they're so sewed on there like and getting these little threads out like that's how far I got because that's how tedious it was. I'm going to put it in the shop. Someone else might want to take this on as a project. It's a cool piece. I love the colors. I love the shape of it. I think someone else will appreciate it more than me and maybe actually finish the job of taking off those grommets. Flowy shirt. Not really my style anymore. It's so comfortable though. That was why I held on for it for so long, but I think it needs to go. Kristen got me this Kamara jersey. Alvin Kamara is my favorite Saints player. He's just so cool. Um, I'm not good at taking care of jerseys. Apparently you're not supposed to like launder them really and I kind of messed it up, but I am gonna keep it because, you know. As long as the Saints are a New Orleans team, I'll keep some amount of Saints stuff. This was decorated by my grandma. I wore it in my engagement or my wedding announcement photo. We bumped our wedding up by a whole year and we went and took pictures at this like Mardi Gras supply store and we wore Mardi Gras stuff and announced that we were getting married on Mardi Gras morning and it was awesome. So this is nostalgic because it's for my grandma. I wore it for that photo. It's handmade. It stays. Oof. We're getting hard. We're getting difficult. This is a really cool red Ralph Lauren vest that I mean, it is just a cool, cool, cool base piece, but it does not fit me. It's never really fit me. So it's been really hard to build outfits with it. It's just such a spectacular piece and I had a hard time letting it go, but Somebody else is going to be able to build a really cool outfit with it and it's not just going to sit in their closet. So I think it needs to go, sadly. Okay, we've got two on one hanger here. I love this Chico's little shirt. I never wear it. Why don't I wear it? I think it has damage somewhere. Should I get rid of it? Dan oh yeah, it has damage down here. Ugh, I might keep it and just like wear it as a ratty. Like, like maybe I can like paint in it and stuff and kind of like thrash it out or something it's just so unique it's got little cute little shapes and I love the colors I love the art on it I'm gonna keep it but this can go this is like a tie another tie top it's really cool though it's good for like over a dressy dress it's like kind of a shoulder cover and it ties in the front but I don't need this this is one of my favorite shirts of all time I wear it all the time so it's obviously staying this is another favorite t-shirt that I kind of like wore to death. Like I wore this thing so much for a little while there. Is it still my style? Yes. Does it fit? Yes. Why do I like cherry so much? I think I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is a nostalgic one that I'm going to let go because I don't wear it. I don't like the material of it I, and I don't like the buttons. Like it needs someone to change the buttons. I think the buttons are really weird. Like they're these like silver hollow plastic buttons. They give me the ick. 
But I'll tell you why this shirt, ugh, the print is so good. The print is so good. Like I just, and the colors, it's got like just organic little shapes on it or whatever. This shirt is nostalgic because this is the shirt I was wearing when I got engaged. <laughs> I had the best engagement story in the whole world that I'll tell sometime probably but and this is the shirt I was wearing and so it's a bit nostalgic but somebody else is going to appreciate it and it's going to get more wear from someone else so someone's going to get this awesome memory of mine I hope that they feel all the love when they wear it <laughs> this shirt does not really fit me anymore it is my style I've held on to it for so long because I got it and then like literally the next week my friend Katie Debuse also thrifted it so I think we both own it but I don't wear it because it doesn't fit and someone else will wear it it's so cool okay it's going it's just like too oversized you know sometimes things are oversized and it's cute that is an oversized and it's not cute I love this one this is silk graphic I do wear it I actually wear this like as a swimsuit cover-up sometimes you guys see the theme here I love a very graphic button-down it's funny because Kat from Kat's Closet Clean Out you can go watch her videos She's going to watch this and be like, Mary, you have so many short sleeve printed button downs, which I really got on her about. But at the end, maybe I'll do another call if I've got a lot. This is a cute little spring gingham one. I do wear this one a good bit. Ugh, I love this piece, but I literally do not wear it enough. It is a lot of silk. It, it needs special care. It's I would keep it in my costume closet, but like it's so short. And I don't know if I shrunk it or if it was like this originally. I can't remember now. But the way it's short, it's not good on my torso. I'm long torsoed and it's like either I need something more cropped or just a little bit longer. So I think it's got to go, but I do love it. It is my style and it does fit me, but I just don't like the way it fits. But whatever, it's going. If it requires that much of an explanation, it should probably go. This is staying. Oh my God, it needs to be cleaned. I'm going to wash it. <laughs> it's just like a tank with a built-in shelf bra that I, I've worn a lot. It's like a base layer to outfits. This is another wrap top like that black one I got rid of in the beginning that hasn't fit my boobs in years. So it's it should go. It should really go. She stays. I'll never get rid of this. I have a lot of leopard print in my closet. Like, if you haven't noticed that already just from knowing me, I have a lot. LOL. This is basically the same exact shirt I'm wearing. Except the one I'm wearing is silk. So I'm going to keep the one I'm wearing and get rid of this one. But I love the buttons on this one. And I love the double-breasted front pockets. So it is slightly different than the one I'm wearing because the one I'm wearing has, I mean, the one I'm having wearing has double-breasted front pockets. It doesn't have as cool of buttons as this one. But this one actually doesn't even fit me that well, so it should go. It's going. This is the matching shirt to that skirt that I showed you a minute ago. Um, I did get a hole in it up here. If anyone knows how to repair silk, could you please tell me? I think, I honestly think it's a moth hole. Like, I have no idea how I would have gotten a hole there. So if anyone knows, can I like glue it or something? I know that sounds crazy, but I know you can do kind of, you can do stuff with fabrics. I don't know. I love it so much. I wear them separately and I don't often wear them together, but I wore this for my birthday last year, the top, and it's just red and silk and I love the prints, love. She stays, wore this in a video recently. I love this shirt so much. I love the color. I recently figured out that red's my color and I basically own very little red. So I love the graphic. I love the billowy sleeve. I love this top. That's another one that I might never get rid of. My friend Emily and I are, are similar sizes and similar styles oftentimes. And so sometimes she'll give me her cast offs for like my personal closet. And this is one of her cast offs. I wear it all the time. I love it. It's Mary Mecco. Um, which is funny because this is also something that Emily got me. But I think she might have, like, got me this. Um, but we'll get to that. Oh, this is another leopard print thing that I never got to wear. Oh, I wore it once on my cruise, but I didn't like the way it wore looked. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. But it's so cool. I love leopard. I love leopard print. I separated. This is all stuff that I decluttered last time. I know I'm keeping all of this. It was in the last video. If you want to see these items, go watch the last video. Here's all stuff that I didn't show in the last video because it was probably in a different closet um, or I didn't have it yet, like this two-piece set. This is a slip, it's inside out. This is a slip and this is the robe that went with it. I literally wore this together as a set to a party a few months ago because I just wanted to wear pajamas to this party. It was like a late night, like rager kind of party and I legit showed up there in a robe and a slip and I got a lot of compliments. People were like, that's beautiful. And I was like, thank you, it's literally a nightie. Leopard print trashy diva, still my style, still fits. Wore it like three weeks ago to go see a play. She stays. This was a gift from my godson. It's just like a flowy little sunflower dress. I throw this on around the house often. 
So, and it, it brings me joy. It's cheery. Sunflowers are definitely like my top three favorite flowers. Maybe my number one favorite flower, honestly. Ugh, this one's hard because I do wear this around the house, but it is such a cool dress that I know that if I put it in the shop, someone else is going to find it and literally be so excited about it. So that is one of the reasons I'm going to let it go. But it's this awesome, brightly colored, kind of like open side overall dress style. And then look at the buttons. How cute is that? But I don't love it. I like I, I love it, but I don't wear it out enough because it's kind of got a drop waist. It does have these great pockets that I love so much, but yeah, someone else is just gonna give it more respect. I mean, look at this. Looking at it in the camera, I'm like, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. But no, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Someone else is gonna love 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 it. So this is one of those ones from my friend Emily. I actually wore it really recently. It is still my style, but it doesn't fit me well. And I'll tell you this, it fits me in my waist great, but whoever had it before me had boobs like double or triple the size of mine. And I have like a very big, I have like a really big chest. No, I have, a, I got big boobs, but this dress was definitely worn by somebody with very, very big boobs. So I think I'm gonna hold on to it. I actually have a client coming up that I think would really love this. And I think it would fit her proportions better than it fit me. So it's gonna go to the shop, but it's gonna go not to my sale. It's gonna be held on to for a client that I have coming up. Um, but I have worn this dress a lot and I have given it a lot of love. It just doesn't fit me the best. And so I don't always feel like the most, God, it's so cute though. It's so cute. Thank you, Emily. And like literally I wore this like two, three weeks ago. So it's not that I'm not wearing it. It's just that it doesn't fit me well enough. And I need to like prioritize stuff that fits me really well. Okay. This was made by a local designer, Daquan, and they are really awesome. They make cool stuff. I think this might need to go to like a costume closet though, because I don't wear it enough. And I think I forget that it exists when it comes time for costume stuff so I think I just need to put it to the side <laughs> this is like a very fun like dressy dress when I am feeling like a little bit like I don't want my body to be seen at all because it's just kind of like a tent dress I have a lot of stuff like this like sometimes when I'm having bad self-image days which I do have as somebody who loves themselves and loves their body I still have bad days sometimes so when I'm having one of those days I'll throw on a dress like this that's like flowy and like tent like but also like really fun and playful. But this one isn't a material that I like wearing, so I just think it needs to go. I also think someone else is gonna really love it because it is really cool. And I do have a tie for this and it's already in my shop. So this dress is beautiful and someone is going to love it. Love this dress, did not wear it enough. I don't think it fits me anymore. It's so friggin' cute. Look at this, look at this. Someone is gonna lose their mind. Someone's gonna find this and they're gonna be so excited. I've held on to this forever. I don't think it was ever my style. It's got these big, long, cold shoulders. I don't know how you, if you guys know how I feel about cold shoulders, but they are not my favorite. And it's just, I don't know, it's gotta go, it's gotta go. I wore it Easter once and it looked really pretty on Easter, but I don't need this, it's going. These are jackets. I have two sides of this rack are jackets. I have a lot of jackets. I've got more jackets than I need and I don't, I don't want to declutter my jackets, but I need to declutter my jackets because I live in a tropical climate and I do not need this many friggin' jackets. I just don't, I don't need this many jackets. I want this many jackets, but I don't need this many jackets. Here is some of my denim jacket collection. Honestly, some of it's in storage, so I'm not decluttering those things, but this is, this is some of it. This is one, two, three, four, five denim jackets. And I probably have three more in storage. I love denim jackets, but I don't wear them enough. Okay, first up, this one, second up, this one. Both of these jackets are incredible. They're different washes. They're extremely similar cuts. It's because this cut looks great on me. Should I keep both of them? Probably not. Do I wanna keep both of them? Yes. Don't look at this one. Is this one similar? Yes. It's different though, it's a Disney one. Okay, this I have to keep. This is a Disney one, a vintage Disney one. This one is so cool. I have to keep this one. Here's another Disney one. But this one can go. This one doesn't have any nostalgia. Someone's gonna like this one. But this one, this one has to stay. This is a Bill Blast. 
I love Bill Blast denim pieces. It's got little pockets. It fits me so well. I can't get rid of this. Okay, and this one, this one's different. This one right here, this one's different. This is long. It's a chore coat. It's Ralph Lauren, which I love Ralph Lauren. Now that I'm doing this declutter, I'm like, wow, I have so many Ralph Lauren pieces. Granted, I decluttered a lot of them just now, but this is a chore coat. This can't go anywhere. Oh, I love this one too. And it's got big giant pockets. The sleeves are a little long on me, but in the winter it looks great. I can't get rid of it. I'm decluttering one denim jacket, okay? Denim jackets are my Achilles. I've accepted it. I can't get rid of this. My friend got me this and I still love it and I've only worn it a couple of times. But I can get rid of this overworn Levi's one. This is a good denim shirt. Um, but someone else is going to love it more and wear it more, so it can go. You know you need to get rid of some of your jackets. You have so many jackets. You don't need to keep all of them. This is an incredible piece. Do I wear it enough? No, but it also doesn't get that cold here. I have to keep it, though. It's so rare. It's so beautiful. It's so... I just love it. I didn't wear it once this winter. I wore it once last winter. I love her. I love her. I can't get rid of her. Okay, I paid $3 for this puffer. It is a very winter winter coat, and I do not need a winter winter coat because I live down here, but I do wonder if I should hold on to it for traveling cold places. I have so many jackets. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one didn't get any play this year. It's literally a puffer. If I travel to a snowy place, I will figure it out, but this one while I love it and it is my style and it does fit me I just I don't think it's worth the closet space also I don't like snow so why would I plan a vacation where I go someplace snowy she says and then she immediately plans a vacation going someplace snowy oh this is one of my favorite jackets it's this Levi's canvas brown jacket it is still my style it does still fit me it's staying this is my Burberry coat. I wear it. I've worn it. I love it. It's a long line coat. I love it. 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 I thrifted it. I have to keep it. Have I done a good job decluttering jackets? No. <laughs> well, there's a few jackets here. Okay, there's only two. I only I only decluttered two jackets so far. I have more too. This is a leather motorcycle jacket. It does fit me. It is my style. I can't get rid of it. It's leather. I love this blazer. I wear it every winter. It's fun. It's dressy. It's It's got a lot of potential. Okay, this can go. I thrifted this. It's an incredible vintage piece. I am taking my snowflake brooch off though. It's not really my style anymore. I doubt it fits me. It's this 1950s velvet cape. It's gorgeous, but it's not my style. It doesn't fit and someone is going to be obsessed with this. This is a really cute athleta sporty jacket thing, but it is not my style and I do not need it. So it goes. This is a costume piece that I hand painted. It stays. This was my high school. I was not on the Cabrini dance team. I guess my sister was. I don't know how I have this, but I don't really have any cute stuff from my high school. So I was like holding on to it because yeah, like I said, I don't have very much cute stuff from my high school, but this one actually does not sing to me that much. So I'm going to see if my sister wants it. And if she doesn't, then I'm just going to get rid of it. This is my London Fog knockoff members, members mark or whatever that members, oh, members only. Members only has jackets like this. This is definitely a knockoff done by London Fog. It's a bomber style. It is still my style. It does still fit me. It's a light jacket. This is actually a good jacket for New Orleans. So I will be keeping. This is another costume jacket. I love this jacket. It's just an instant costume piece. I will be keeping her. This is my Christmas blazer brooch on it and everything. I will be keeping my Christmas blazer. But this Patagonia, should I get rid of you? This is like a little Patagucci, Patagonia hiking jacket. Again, this is a light jacket, good for New Orleans. I'm keeping it. And then we have this leather jacket that I got for $5 in a video from Heavy Bee Vintage. It's in the road trip drifting video. I have to keep this too, like this, this, this has to stay. This is my Mardi Gras costume from last year, 2022. It's a jacket that says don't move here and on the front it's got all this going on. I will be keeping this. I want to repair it and then I want to frame it because it is, it's one of my favorite pieces that I've ever made. Um, this is another Mardi Gras piece that I've had for a long time. I usually wear it when it's like cold for Mardi Gras. I throw it on. It's like an easy costume piece. 
you might be noticing just like how many costume pieces I have, but once again, you don't understand how many occasions there are to costume here, and it is important to have like a healthy costume closet. Um, this is a Bob Mackie too, but I don't think I want to keep it. I think I'm going to get rid of it because I haven't worn it in like two Mardi Gras, so I feel like it's time to go, and also because it has those beads on it, I don't like washing it, and so it needs to go. This is one of my favorite shirts. I wear it all the time. You've definitely seen me wear it. I'm keeping it. I've worn this just one time. I think that it can go. It's it's this like mesh. I mean, I think it's really unique and fun, but I have other long sleeves I like more and I'm not wild about the mesh material in this shirt. So it's going, it also has like a weird sleeve thing that I don't like that much. This is a, like a little J. Crew gingham cotton top that I've already shrunk so it doesn't fit my boobs anymore. So I think it needs to go. Man, that's the thing with 100% cotton. I love the way it feels. I love the way it wears. But you have to be smart when you're laundering it or you can just destroy shit. This is just a basic flannel that I wear every October a lot. So she's staying. I think this one can go. This is, I mean, I love this. This is my style and it does fit me. But I have a lot like it. And I don't pull this one nearly as much as I should. So I think it's going to go. But it was in a couple of TikTok videos. So that's cute. She stays for now. Um, I might see my best friend Abigail is getting married. I might see if she wants to wear it to any of her wedding stuff But I wore this to my bachelorette party. It's this like super sequined piece And then I wore this to my engagement party. These are very New Orleans pieces I've said that a million times, but this one's super unique. I got this one from an estate I got to shop like this estate privately a friend hooked me up and I got this there And I think actually I got the white one too. They're from the same woman so those stay too spectacular to get rid of. This is one of my Mardi Gras jackets. I wear it the whole season. It's like casual costuming. I get, when I wear this jacket, I get a million compliments on it. So it stays. My handmade Halloween sweatshirt, it stays. And this is one of my all time favorite shirts. It stays. This was my grandmother's, but I don't like the way it feels and I'm never gonna wear it. And though it is nostalgic, I have to let go of things, and this is something I'm gonna let go. My grandmother's memory is more important to me than this sweater that I'm sure she does not care about, didn't care about, and would not be mad at me if I got rid of it. So I'm getting rid of it. Thank you, Thelma. This is a little Mac cardigan that I would wear with my little dressy dresses, but I don't like it, and I wanna get rid of it. I don't wear them anymore, and I don't wanna wear them. This is a Disney item. <laughs> it stays for Disney. This I wore to a Y2K party. It's another mesh top. I love mesh tops apparently, but I actually don't because the way they feel kind of gives me the ick. And this one is too specific, so I think it needs to go. Whereas like the black mesh top I showed in the beginning is more like flexible and I can wear it in a lot of ways. Mardi Gras, I love this top. She stays. This can go. This is this like, this is when I was going through like my, I want to look like a 90s boy in the movie Brink or something, but this can go. Okay, here's two Western wear shirts. I love both of these. I definitely use them in casual costuming. Mickey, another Mac cardigan. She can go. This is the name of our gym, Vitality. But we didn't we didn't make these. We just found them on a website, and a bunch of us at the gym got it. I wear it decently often, um, so it stays. Dude, more Mac cardigans. Two more. So that's four all together. Well, no, five. All three of these are going. Goodbye, Mac cardigans. Thank you for all you've done for me. And then we've got another Halloween piece. I need to put all my Halloween stuff in the same place so that I actually remember to wear it because last year I did not remember to wear it. We have gotten through a lot. This whole thing is done. Everything that's on here is staying and I feel really good about it because this was previously completely full and as you can see like, I don't know if you can see, that one's empty back there. This only has a few jackets. This has this much and I pulled stuff from a rack in the back. So we've done well. This is the pile. Okay, I really don't have very many shorts right now, um, so these are the only shorts I'm getting rid of. They don't fit me anymore. They're both really good denim, so goodbye. All of this is going in that dress, but it's long. That's all going to stay. These are my jackets that are staying, so basically this and this is what's staying. And like, I mean, this whole rack was full. I don't know if you remember. I did move some stuff, so I'm gonna show you what I'm keeping on the other rack I have. So I also have this rack in our back room. Here's all the bottoms I'm keeping. These are all of my short sleeves, long sleeves, and then shorter dresses are here. So basically it's this rack and what you saw of the other rack. 
I have gotten rid of so much stuff and I'm so proud of myself. I do have a little bit more to go through, <laughs> but not much. Thank you for watching my closet clean out. My back hurts. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you know what you gotta do. Give it a like, give it a comment. Go watch my other clean outs. I have a few videos on the channel of clean outs. And if you really like the work I do, you can support me by buying my style workbook book, dropping July 23rd, God friggin' willing. I'm proud of myself. I got rid of a lot of stuff and it was not that hard. I was like, I think it was the caffeine, honestly. The caffeine got me through, so. Goodbye. Okay,